Hi there, welcome back. Today I have a technique video for you. A while back I had done a project for um, a company called Yasutomo Niji and uh, they make some wonderful art supplies including uh, inks which are um, known as splash inks. These are basically acrylic inks and, um, and they are perfectly mixable and they come in a pack of uh, uh, just uh, four colors that's three primaries and a black and I had used um, a te technique called pouring. It's a very common technique in, in the watercolor uh, uh, world but I thought of uh, instead of using watercolors I'll use these inks and I was uh, very very happy with the um, end result and I had done a step-by-step -step tutorial there so today I thought I'll do a video and uh, share the same technique here and um, it's pretty easy technique just that you need to gather your supplies so here are the supplies that you'll be needing I have used um, memento ink to stamp the image the inks masking fluid which you can find at any art supply store and um, lots of rags and tissue and a spray mixture which is going to be your best friend and um, watercolor paper is 140 pound the thicker and heavier the better because you're going to be spraying a lot of water so the thicker the better uh, it will be able to take it and uh, I've used masking tape just to tape it to the board that makes it easy to hold and to keep blending the colors so that's all that you need uh, it is a messy technique no doubt but the end result is stunning so give it a try definitely i'm sure you'll enjoy it so here i started to apply the masking fluid at this point i must remind you to use a very old brush and uh, keep it exclusively for your masking fluid because uh, these dry very quickly and they're latex so your brush is just going to be unusable if you leave it out to dry so once you're done put it in water so that um, it remains damp and you can wash it off easily so I'm just trying to save the highlights here you just have to think a little bit ahead in this technique just save your highlights and um, that you can do with masking fluid and um, then start applying your uh, layers of color uh, if you remember there is a technique called batik in uh, fabric dyeing where you keep saving your layers of color through uh, using by using wax and uh, that's the very same technique that we going to be doing here except instead of wax we are going to be using masking fluid and masking fluid you can get in a different variety I am using the one that you find in a bottle is by Vincent and Newton but you can even get it with a nice a fine tip um, uh, which is much more easier than to do with a brush but if you don't have that you can definitely use the same with the brush and um, here I have applied one layer of yellow color and I go directly from the bottle to the paper and that's just because I was uh, limited on space right here on my desk but if you had to you could even keep uh, separate containers for each color I have uh, shown that in my picture tutorial I will leave a link on the blog uh, on my blog as well as uh, the Yasutomo blog where there is a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial and there I have used uh, different containers for the in all the different colors but here I am going right from bottle to paper and um, it's pretty easy just keep uh, spraying water the, for the colors to mix and blend and uh, that way you keep pouring layer after layer of color that's why it's called pouring so you pour your first layer then let it dry if you're not patient use a heat tool to let it dry and then um, once it's dry apply masking fluid wherever you need to save that color so in this case I applied a layer of yellow and then I let it dry and then I went back with masking fluid to save the yellow color wherever I needed and then went back with more color I applied a blue so the blue yellow mixed give me a green and then again to save the green I applied masking fluid and then again to I'm adding the dark so here I'm adding the magenta so you can once again if you want to save this dark apply masking fluid so masking fluid is basically uh, the, a way of saving your colors that's all there is to it and um, keep pouring colors as much as as little that you need and um, as you keep layering you will get a darker uh, color and um, just don't mix it too much if you mix the colors too much it turns to mud and a very dark brown color if you want to maintain the vibrancy just go slow just just take your time with it 
and use water to either dilute your colors to mix your colors and uh, keep tilting the board to uh, blend your colors it's, a, it's as simple as that but just go slow take your time and um, keep lots of rags and tissues to wipe the mess So here I'm uh, almost reaching my last pour and I'm spraying water to blend that last uh, bit of color there and you can keep continuing adding as many colors uh, layers as you would like but um, to keep this video short I thought I would uh, stop at this point and I think I got enough darks there so here I'm using a kneaded eraser any eraser would do even your fingertip would do just to remove the masking fluid and they peel off pretty quickly and pretty easily and uh, if it has dried well otherwise it might peel your paper so wait for your paper to dry completely before you peel the masking and um, I'm going back with some watercolors just to touch up a bit it's not really required but I thought it needed a little bit of color in some areas so I went back and I added some color and um, just left it at that I didn't want to fiddle with it too much uh, because I really like the way it came out and yes it is definitely unpredictable so each um, picture was going to be a little different from if you're trying to do a couple at the same time you will notice that each one turns out different but I think that's the fun of it it's a beautiful technique and um, every picture is going to be different you could uh, frame it or you could even uh, send it as a card I I, this is how I, I I like it. I frame it usually, but um, if you are, if you want, you could even um, send it as a card, add a sentiment to it, and uh, you have a card ready. So this is the one. This is the project that I had done for Yasutomo a while back, and uh, the very same technique. And I had done a landscape there. I have a step by step tutorial, and I'll leave a link for that. And here it is with the sentiment. So the sentiment is by paper tray ink and the stamp of course is by clearly besotted. And I hope you like this technique. It's really fun and I encourage you to give it a try. It's the unpredictability I think which is uh, far more exciting especially when the moment of truth comes and you peel the masking and the tape. Please remember to wait until the paper is completely dry otherwise you are going to be peeling the paper with the tape so wait for it to dry and then peel it unless of course you're like me and I like that slightly fuzzy look the handmade paper look that you get when you peel the paper tape when it, the paper is slightly damp but then that's not for everyone so I would advise you to just wait and then peel the tape off the board so I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you give this one a try leave me a link below I'd love to come and see your work thank you so much for joining me today see you soon